Hey everyone, my name is Joey G and I'm submitting a TED Talk for the Mile High Lecture. Uh, I'm a physician assistant currently practicing in the Texas Medical Center in Houston, Texas and I wanted to talk to you about how to get into medicine and keys about practicing. I've been practicing as a physician assistant for a couple years and throughout my time I've learned key points about how to get into medicine and what it takes important to practice. So number one, you look at prerequisites when applying to med school, dental school, physician assistant school, pharmacy school, nursing school, what have you, in the medical field. And you learn about microbiology, which is a prerequisite, organic chemistry. They tell you to keep a GPA high. They tell you to do well in your entrance exams, MCAT, PCAT, GRE. But that's not exactly the entirety of what it takes. There's some certain fundamentals that are required to make impression on the interview. There's a certain fundamentals that are required that will carry on into your practice. One of those fundamentals is communication, and that is something they actually don't teach you in school, whether it be high school, college. It's just something that you learn from experience. And one of the key things that's important in learning communication is being exposed to areas of either job such as retail, fast food, where you can be exposed to communication. And having a summer job, they say, oh, well, eh, make some extra cash and I'll quit off summer. But in essence, when you prolong your time in that job, you get exposed to more strangers. And in, in essence, you communicate with them on a daily basis. And when you do that, you develop a kind of a niche about communicating, talking with strangers, which will help you in your practice as a medical licensed professional because patients are strangers when they first meet you until you build rapport and their family members are strangers until you build rapport and going back tying that back in it helps with teamwork when you're in a retail job setting you work as a team whether it be grocery store a McDonald's a clothing store and you work with the strangers which end up being your colleagues in the end and y'all develop a bond which helps you communicate as a team. And for that reason, when you come with problem solving, you can bounce ideas off of coworkers, much like a resident bounces ideas off as of a attending doctor, the nurses. And that plays a big part in communication and teamwork. Another thing that is important is not to burn bridges. It's a small world in medicine, and burning bridges is not the best thing to do, whether or not you feel you're going to see this professor again, whether or not you're going to see this preceptor again. Even if the preceptor was the most horrible preceptor in the world, you're likely going to come across them sometime or need their help of some sort. Uh, one of the key things I remember in my career is working in my retail job. I graduated physician assistant in school, got licensed, and as I was waiting for boards, my loans and interests were accumulating. So I said, well, I need a way to gain income. So I called up my retail job at a grocery store and talked with them and said, hey, you know, I need some extra income to help pay my loans and some experience with communication teamwork. So I gave them a call, left on good terms before I went off PA school, and they granted me my job. And that helped pay off my loans and debt as well. And in the words of Kendrick Lamar, be humble. No one likes a person who's arrogant, even in school, your residency, your training. One of the things that I was taught early in my career is the best medical provider in the world that is a jerk will always be known as a jerk. And even in school, no one wants to help a person who brags about their grades, a person that is demeaning or talks down upon people for not doing well even though they do well no one will want to help them and it is a lonely mountain at the top of the mountain unless you have a team to help you get down from that mountain the same people you see going up the ladder are the same people you see going down the ladder uh, communication it ties back into the retail job as I spoke to about you earlier it's again working with strangers as you will do in your medical team you'll learn to work with them, course with them, and learn different aspects about how they practice and bounce ideas out, off of each other. And that, again, is something that you don't learn in school. 
uh, being positive. Positivity goes a long way. If you hate your job right now, but you wake up with a smile and you say, you know, today I'm going to have a great day, it will turn into a great day. It takes less muscles to smile than it is to frown. And that, I think, is a great part in what we do, is doing what you love and having a passion for it. Um, when people come across negative Nancy's uh, or Debbie Downers, no one likes to work with them, and that can break apart teamwork, that can break apart communication. So, again, the key thing is to be positive, uh, stay focused, and go for your passion. Thank you.